Alright, we got another update here. You can see the front of the car is not quite where it should be. The rest of the car is sitting over here on the jig, but we found it would be easier to take her out of there and flip her over to do all the welding on the bottom end that needed to be done. The front corner here, a little dark, a little rusty looking from the humidity out here, but we fixed the front corner and spot welded that back together again, and this side's been spot welded. There was a couple holes that somebody had drilled in there. We don't know if it was for an oil cooler or a different air conditioner, but uh, patched those holes up. There were two about inch and a half, inch and a quarter holes that were about there and about there. Uh, today we moved the VIN number over. Can't really read it, but moved that one over. And this guy back here, you can kind of see still where we ground off the welds. So we've got the car back to identify to what it was. We've also added the torque boxes off of 68 to the back end of here. Hopefully we can squeeze it all back in the frame of the car with those located on there. It might make it a little tight, but they're actually in there pretty much the way they're supposed to be. And this will also give us an opportunity, which is one of our next things. We're going to take the frame outside and do some sanding on it. And then epoxy prime everything, including the insides of the torque boxes, so this car shouldn't see any rust anywhere that they normally would rust ever again with any luck. So we've got just a couple little more things to do on the front end of the car, a little minor stuff. And then we'll rejoin her with the back end of the car. Once she's rejoined, we'll get it all level, and then we're going to go after the rear frame rails. But, uh... That's about all we got for now. Doesn't seem like much, but there's been a lot of work to get this frame reassembled as one again, and it's all square. All right, until next time.